The Maple Leafs lineup suffers a big blow as one of their all-stars is out with a knee injury. Hey everyone, Rob Wong joined alongside by national NHL columnist Michael Trakos. And Michael, bad news for the Maple Leafs. Austin Matthews set to miss a minimum of three weeks due to a knee sprain that he suffered in the game against the New York Rangers. What does this mean for the Maple Leafs in the short term and the long term as well? Well, short term, short term, you're out with uh, you're, you're missing your MVP from last season, and you know, arguably you stole your best offensive player and uh, no one's going to doubt that regardless of what Mitch Marner or William Nylander have done this year. Uh, you don't want to lose Austin Matthews. You don't want to lose him in uh, February. You don't want to lose him in April. You just don't want to be without him. The good news is the, the Leafs are sitting comfortably in the Atlantic Division standings. Um, they're not going to catch Boston with or without Matthews in the lineup, but you know Matthews is probably going to be out a dozen games um, the good news is this happens over the All-Star break, so uh, the time is going to be limited where he's out. He's obviously not going to play at the All-Star game. Um, but, you know, you're probably, at worst, you're going to get passed by lightning, uh, the lightning in the standings. Uh, that being said, uh, yeah, the Leafs are sitting comfortably in a, in a playoff spot right now, and it's probably a good opportunity for William Nylander to continue to showcase um, the season he's had and really step up in Matthew's absence. Yeah, definitely tough for people that uh, maybe had a wager on Austin Matthews to uh, reclaim his Rocket Richard trophy, but this uh, pretty much puts an end to it. But as you mentioned, William Nylander, a guy that uh, could get a big opportunity here to to be the man, and for large parts of the season, he has been that, of course. Uh, I found one thing interesting, that it was Pontus Holmberg moving into the top six as the uh, second-line center alongside Nylander. I, I'm pretty interested, to be honest with you, to see what kind of, um, you know, what kind of opportunity he's going to get here because because it's pretty clear that this coaching staff, this uh, front office feels pretty strongly about him. What do you expect from Holmberg in Matthew's absence? Yeah, well, he's not going to be Austin Matthews. So let's face it there, Rob. Um, that being said, I think this is a really good opportunity for Sheldon Keefe to really tinker and experiment with some lines, uh, maybe some positions. I know William Nylander is not going to be playing the center spot, but it doesn't mean we're not going to see him down the middle. Um, this guy's... Like I said, he's having a great year. 26 goals, 57 points in 49 games going into uh, Friday's game against Ottawa. Uh, it, it's really been a breakout season for Nylander. And you know, he started his career as a as a center. Um, doesn't mean that he can't go back down the middle again. And, you know, it, it might be an opportunity also for the Leafs to really kind of explore the trade deadline a bit. You know, you know you're getting Austin Matthews back, but maybe this is a good chance to see, okay, well, uh, where are there, um, where are the spots in the lineup that need to be filled in? Uh, maybe it's up front now uh, with an extra depth center. Um, but, you know, nothing to freak out about. But, you know, it doesn't mean the Leafs aren't going to be tinkering. Well, the Maple Leafs have dealt with a lot of injuries on the back end, on the blue line. They're now dealing with a big one in Austin Matthews. For all of Michael's great work, you can find it at Post Media or anytime on Twitter at Michael underscore Tracos.